Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you're watching this, if you're watching this, of course, if you're not watching this, it uh, could be any of those things for you. Okay, well, uh, I'm watching it, trying to do a little voiceover, because uh, I'm using some, my old software, uh, Wondershare, Corel 8. I don't know what's wrong with it, and they don't seem to want to make it right, but anyway, uh, sorry about the, it jumps around a lot more, this software, I, this painting took about three and a half hours, so you have to speed it up to show the whole thing. But anyway, I'm using oil paint, uh, because I'm working on an old canvas that uh, I did uh, 16, 15, 16 years ago, never finished. And there's a lot of paintings around with paintings underneath the paint. And I had to use oil because the first one that wasn't finished was oil base. But anyway, uh, I was walking a dog down the park and this gal was getting photographed by a photographer and she was beautiful. So I got talking with him and uh, Asked her if I could take a couple pictures of her, and she allowed me to. So, didn't get her phone number or anything. What a model! She was a beautiful black lady. But anyway, I got three pictures, and this one here reminded me of uh, the Mona Lisa pose. So, in three and a half hours, I whip this painting out and I like to paint fast let the brush stroke show the colors I'm using are alizarin crimson yellow ochre and Prussian blue you can get every color almost every color from those three and it simplifies your palette it's a lot easier to uh, well it teaches you about mixing as well what you can't get is a bright yellow, uh, but there is no bright yellow in this painting, so of course I used white too. Her black hair there is like four parts Prussian, uh, a couple parts alizarin, and uh, maybe three parts alizarin, and uh, the least is uh, yellow ochre but you get a very rich beautiful black with uh, those three colors and her her hair was uh, a beautiful wavy black so I, uh, I'm having a heck of a time with this video software uh, sorry about it jumping around so much but uh, We'll get it eventually. So, getting down to the nitty gritty here, putting in some highlights. You can see the photo back there of uh, the picture I took down in the park. Find the best things walking the dog. Using a mall stick, all I could find was a piece of uh, bamboo I had in the house here. So I normally don't use uh, a mall stick. But I'm getting a little shaky in the old age. Okay, well, if you're watching this, I hope you enjoy.